<laughs> Nutrition plays a very, very important role in living a healthy lifestyle. But as we get older, we need to find ways to supplement other things into our diets, and we don't always get those things from food. This morning, we're talking about zinc, and Andrea Duplessis, our health expert, is going to tell us why this mineral is so important. Good morning, Andrea. How are Hi, you? Good thing to you. Very, very well, thank you. So we're talking about zinc this morning and the role that it plays in our lives as we start getting older. Why is it so important? You know, um, zinc is very important for your immune system. Mm -hmm. And they also say it plays a very important role in wound healing. Really? And a recent study showed that in elderly people, zinc levels in the body starts declining mm -hmm. as they get older, despite the fact that they still consume the same amounts of zinc through their diets. Okay. So Andrea, why is that? Well, if you look at the body and your digestive system, um, there are changes in the um, composition of your digestive juices and, and the enzymes um, that extract the nutrients from the foods we eat. And that results in suboptimal absorption in the elderly of zinc. And we have some um, s examples here right. of foods that are rich in zinc. Okay, wonderful. So take us through what we have today. So lentils, um, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds are rich natural and vegetarian sources of yes. zinc. And then for people that enjoy seafood, oysters. That oh. is the food item that actually has the highest content of zinc. That's awesome. And then lean red meat. Here we've got a lovely piece of ostrich steak. Mm -hmm. So it's very low in fat yeah. and high in protein, but it's also a rich source of zinc. Wonderful. So these are the types of foods we need to eat to make sure that we get enough zinc through our diets. And these things are so easily accessible. I mean, you could add the pumpkin seeds to a salad and you can have lentils and you can make, like you said, a nice vegetarian dish with it. What are the consequences of not getting enough zinc in our diets? Well, one thing that happens if um, your body's levels of zinc decreases is that your immune system is weakened and that increases your risk of catching a cold, which as speci um, specifically if you get older, you don't want to sit with colds and flu. Um, and another thing that happens is zinc is very important for wound healing. So um, elderly people that um, are um, spending lots of time in bed, specifically if you're hospitalized, um, there's a risk of bed sores. And zinc tablets are often recommended specifically to increase your zinc intake. So a, a lack of zinc will definitely um, decrease the, the healing process of wounds. We spoke about foods that are rich in zinc, but for elderly people whose systems can't absorb foods naturally in their diets that are rich in zinc, what supplementation can they use to assist in that process? Well, zinc tablets are available, um, but minerals like zinc aren't always absorbed easily in a tablet format. So if you buy a, a zinc tablet, you have to make sure that it is a chelated formula. Mm. Um, because chelated zinc means that it's um, com um, combined with nutrients that assist with the absorption. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. Mm. Such an important subject that we're talking about today. How can people get hold of you? Well, um, they're welcome to visit my Facebook page. Um, it's Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert and they can post the nutrition questions and I hope to answer them. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. And like Andrea said, zinc is a very important mineral for your diet. Vital Mini Rice Cakes, the better for you snack.